Okay, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we'll go ahead and give it a try. Um, my friend is trying to upload a video, I mean a file right now to her um, SC400 and she's having trouble having it recognized. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick video on how to do it on Windows 8. Um, Windows 7 is the same, pretty much the same thing, only you're going to pick up that file and drop it on the removable disk. But let me show you what I mean. Okay, so you want to take your um, USB cord that came with the SC400, you want to plug in here. Okay, then you take your other side, your other USB, and you plug it into one of your um, USB plugs on your either your laptop or your desktop, whatever you happen to have. Okay, I just have my machine set up to, um, let me turn this so there's no glare. I just have my machine set up with my carriage on, but I'm still in my sewing mode. But um, your machine should be all set up to embroider at this point. So let's go ahead and turn on our machine. And your first thing that's going to come up is, um, will your carriage move and say, okay, yes. Um, let me see if I can get this around here, so. Okay, let me see if you make sure you can see that. It's really hard um, trying to see on the computer too. Let me shut this one off so maybe there's not that much glare. That's better. Okay, so say okay, your carriage will move. So that will automatically take you to your um, embroidery uh, mode function. Okay, so once you have that and you're on your computer, find the file or the easiest thing to do for me is um, when you're on Windows 8, go down to your, um, that will take you to your regular start menu. But if you um, right click on your mouse, it'll take you to your Files Explorer. So hit Files Explorer, and then when that comes up, all of your drives are going to show up. It'll show you this PC, it'll show you your recovery your drive, your Windows drive, and then you'll also going to show up, um, what's going to show up is also a removable disk. It could have a different, um, uh, on, my lab, on my laptop it says it's removable disk F. When I'm over on my desktop it tells me it's removable disk J. So it just depends on Excuse me. It just depends on what what is your removable disk at the time. It just means you're hooked up to a new component, and, and in this case, it's the sewing machine on the computer. Okay, so we know that's removable F. All right, so I just want to show you uh, find out what disk that's going, what letter that's going to be on your computer. Okay, so what I do is I was on vacation and I had. Um, on you know Facebook has a called designs by sick and they give a free pattern away so I just set up a temporary embroidery pattern file um, while I was on vacation so I could save the patterns I wanted usually because this machine only takes a 4x4 four four, I'll only save a 4x4 four four pattern okay so let's just say for example this was one of the free patterns that I um, uh, picked up while I was on vacation and I put it on this computer. And it's a cute little bunny rabbit with like an outline chain around it. So we're going to put this on the computer. It's a 4x4 four four, so I know it'll fit. This is just the picture. We can't work with the picture. We've got to work with the actual file. So let's uh, shut this one down. So what I do is when I save the file, I'll save the picture of the file right next to the file. So I know this is called neb dash. 010. So now that's my, my file right there. So if I click on that file and if I um, right click on my computer, I can actually send it to the removable disk drive, which is F. Okay, so I have a couple options here. I can take it and pick it up. Not the picture, you want to do the .pes file on the 400 or .dst file. I can pick it up and drop it on the F uh, drive with the, it says copy to removable disk or I can right click and I can send it to the removable disk drive. So I'll do it that way. So I'm going to send it to F. Okay, so now it's there. So how do I know that it's gone to my removable F disk? You can either look and see if it's there, and in this case it is, 
or you can hit on your computer here, you can hit that, you're gonna have to hit it anyway, hit the um, USB uh, uh, picture, okay? So automatically you see that picture there on the screen. Let me make sure you can see well. Okay, so I took the bunny off of here, I just put it on here. And it tells me that um, uh, uh, there it is. But now if I try to upload it to this machine, it's gonna keep, uh, buzzing me because I have to see how it's got the white background here we want to press on it and invert it so that the background now becomes um, a dark shade of gray or black and that way I'll be able to upload it to my machine so let's hit upload and now we'll get to the regular um, embroidery functions where we can go through all the colors in this case there's 17 different colors on this um, uh, uh, um, bunny rabbit. But anyway, that's basically how you get, uh, and then just follow the, oh, I'm on the wrong mouse. You just follow the instructions on the screen. Okay, so there you go. So now when you're done with it, and this is going to ask you to delete the selected pattern say yes you want to delete it because you don't want to put it in memory you only have a finite amount of memory in here so you might as well save all your patterns on the computer unless you're going to do the same one over and over and over again then you sure you sure you want to save it to your computer even if you save it to your computer you can always come back and delete it but i'm going to say uh, okay to delete the pattern yes okay so the pattern's still there until i actually uh, turn off my machine, but I didn't save it. So once I'm done with it, it's going to disappear on the on the machine. But anyway, um, so once you do that, and then you uh, disconnect from your computer, um, let me shut down here. So um, I'm going to um, just shut down my computer. I mean, shut down my um, uh, and then when I go here and disconnect. I'm not going to have that removable drive anymore on my um, uh, computer. File Explorer. Now my uh, F my F drive is gone because I've disconnected it, and that's how easy it is to to upload a file. Okay, so I hope that helps. Talk to you guys later.